So is, is advertising good or bad? Well, I'm not going to give you an opinion because I don't know, to tell you the truth, whether advertising is good or bad. Advertising just is. But I can kind of lay out some of the issues and I can kind of lay out some of the foundation of why you might consider it to be good or bad. And so on the pro side, um, probably the thing that people point to most about being the good thing about advertising is that they're paying. Right? You get a tremendous amount of value. We've talked about this before. A tremendous amount of value and all, you, all it costs you is your attention and the possibility that you might be persuaded. It does cost your attention. You definitely have to pay attention to advertisements because that's the way they're constructed. On the other hand, you don't have to be persuaded. In fact, they can persuade you of the opposite. Watching an advertisement can persuade you that you never want to have a particular product or you never want to have a particular belief. So anyway, um, one of the things that uh, is undoubtedly a positive benefit of advertising is that they're spending a tremendous amount of money to bring you content that you wouldn't otherwise be able to pay for or that you at least otherwise would have to pay for. So you can, um, you can ignore the advertising, right? That's a, if, and in fact, I'm sure we're all trained. I'm certainly trained, and so are you, I'm sure, to ignore a certain amount of advertising, even though it's trying to grab your attention. And there's an escalating, there's always an escalating battle for the next technique to grab your attention, the next way to make sure that you actually have to pay attention. And then people see that technique, they recognize that that technique is going on, and then they find selective ways of blocking that advertising. Uh, there's also the argument that the stuff that's being advertised to you is stuff that you actually might want. And the more targeted the advertisement, the more, the, the more possibility there is that that advertiser is actually finding what in fact the advertiser wants, which is people who, of all the people in the world, the people who most want their product. So when an advertisement is perfectly targeted, think about it this way, if it was perfectly targeted, what would that mean? That would mean that the advertisement is landing in front of the eyes of somebody who really needs that product and is ready and willing to purchase it right now. That's perfect for them as well, right? That's, that's ultimate targeting, targeting. And at that point, isn't it okay for you? You need the thing, it's, uh, it's the right thing for you at the right moment, you're ready to buy the thing and there it shows up in front of your face. Isn't that what you kind of want as well? So that's another argument in favor of advertising that the better it gets and the more targeted it gets, the more likely it is to find you at the right moment when you as well want to have that product. And then finally, Advertisement is entertaining. I don't know about you, but my head is full of jingles and little commercial things that I've seen and banners that I've seen and all that kind of stuff that has just kind of, you know, entertained me. It's enlightened me or it's uh, given me an emotional response, whatever. It kind of has become the information. And so, you know, in some ways, I'd like to consume that as well. And so that's a, there's an argument in favor of advertising. So let's look at, um, at some of the arguments opposed to advertising. First of all, and, and probably the thing that people say the most, is that it's manipulative. It doesn't only show you needs that you already have, it creates needs in you, it manipulates you, it shows you, you know, it shows you sex or it shows you status or it shows you something else and it, and it pretends to give you those things even though um, the thing that is being advertised isn't going to give you that at all. So there's a big argument as a, in a, opposed, to, um, uh, opposed to advertising. Um, it makes you buy stuff. Another argument that people say, I wouldn't have bought that bag of chips except I saw the potato chip commercial over and over again, or I wouldn't be drinking Coke except that they've, you know, slammed their message into my head and every time I look at, a, every time I look at the, um, you know, the display of cans of, of pop, Coke just jumps out because they made me do it. Uh, it trashes objectivity. Here's another really big argument against, um, against advertising is that it, um, uh, it it sways what's going on in the, in, the, um, in the content that's being shown. And we'll see this a lot later where the, where the advertisement actually merges with the content and in some way sort of affects the content. And it's been a, it's been a charge that's leveled against newspapers forever that the advertisers censor what's in the newspaper. And if it's not positive towards the advertisers, they pull their money. And if they pull their money, then there's a new newspaper. So the, um, and it goes for everything as well. Any, anything that's sponsored, the sponsor has some say in the editorial content that's being presented. And so there's an argument against advertising. Do you really want Coca-Cola to decide what goes on the news? You know, that's the, that's the argument. And then finally, you know, it's just annoying. You know, for every ad that's stuck in my head, well, let's just say the vast majority of ads that are stuck in my head, I'd rather not have them be stuck in my head. I'd rather, you know, they're just kind of annoying jingles that kind of are earworms, if you know what that is, a, a little thing that gets stuck in your head and goes round and round and round and you can't get rid of it. 
So there's sort of the territory. Uh, it's not up to me to tell you whether advertisement is good or bad, but what I would like to do is just sort of lay out the issues and, sh and show you some of the things that people have said on either side and have you decide for yourself if and probably more importantly when advertising is good and if and when advertising is bad.